the vedic age 2500 bce to 600 bce the coming of the aryans the harappan civilization started to stagnate by 1500 bce around this time the aryans began to arrive in india historians believe that the aryans were a cultured race of people who lived in central asia as their population grew they had to move out of their homeland to look for new pastures for their animals and places to live some of them migrated to india and came to be known as the indo aryans the aryans came to india in stages and gradually settled in the gangetic plains the phases of the vedic period there are two main phases of the vedic period the early vedic period 1500 bce to 1000 bce and the later vedic period 1000 bce to 600 bce during the early vedic period the aryans settled in the sapta sindhu region and called it brahmavarta or land of the gods in the later vedic period the aryans moved to the gangetic valley and named it aryavarta or land of the aryans vedic literature the religious literature of the aryans are known as the vedas there are four vedas rigved atharva ved samaved and yajurved these texts were composed verbally and passed down orally from generation to generation till they were finally written down Brahman, the Upanishads, the Puran, and the two epics, Ramayana and Mahabharat, are the other important religious texts of the Aryans. These books are collectively known as the Vedic literature. They tell us a great deal about the social, religious, economic, and political life of the people during this period. Political organization during the early Vedic period, the Aryans organized themselves into tribes called Janna. Each janna consisted of many villages called gram the head of the gram was the gramini the head of all the tribes was the rajan or king who protected the tribe from the enemy the sabha and the samiti were two councils which advised and guided the king he was also assisted by the purohit religious adviser and the senani commander in chief of the army During the later Vedic period the small tribes grew into large kingdoms the king became very powerful and kingship became hereditary the king was assisted by many officials who were in charge of different departments many rituals and sacrifices or yagnas like the rajasuya yagn and the ashvamedh yagn were performed to confer supreme power on the king classification of society the aryan society was divided into four classes or varnas on the basis of people's occupation the four varnas were brahmanas kshatriyas vaishyas and shudras brahmanas were priests and scholars kshatriyas were warriors vaishyas were farmers traders and crafts people shudras were laborers who did menial jobs The classification of society into four varnas became rigid and hereditary in the later Vedic period. The four classes came to be known as castes. Once caste was determined by birth, and a person born in a particular caste could not change his profession or caste. The four ashram. The life of an Aryan was divided into four stages or ashram. Brahmacharya was the first stage. when a person stayed with his guru and received education grihast was the second stage when a person married and led the life of a householder vanaprastha was the third stage when one gave up worldly life and went to the forest to meditate sanyas was the last stage when one became an ascetic economic life of the aryans In the early Vedic period the Aryans who were nomads began to settle down they practiced agriculture and reared livestock other than those involved with agriculture there were also chariot makers potters leather workers and weavers by the later Vedic period the Aryans led a settled life agriculture became their main occupation 
they improved their farming implements and became prosperous. The towns and cities grew during this period. Trade developed by the barter system. During this time, many people used painted grey vessels, which have been found in many sites in northern India. Religion The Aryans used to worship one supreme power who created the universe. They also worshipped the forces of nature in the forms of gods and goddesses. The most important god was Indra, the god of rain and thunder. Other gods were Varuna, the god of water, and Surya, the sun god. During the early Vedic period, there were no idols or temples. They worshipped their gods in the open. The yagnas were performed by the brahmanas and all the family members participated. In the later Vedic period, the earlier gods lost their importance. Brahma, the creator, Shiv, the destroyer, and Vishnu, the preserver, now gained importance. The mode of worship became complex and many elaborate ceremonies and rituals were performed.